Hello everybody, the Seasters are back. I'm Mel, also known as Mains by Mel. And I'm Amanda, Mel Seaster. And in this week's video, we are sharing with you guys six, oops, six sister summer scrunchy styles. Six sister scrunchy summer steals. No, no. Six sister summer scrunchy styles. Well, how many times can you say that fast? Six sister summer scrunchy styles. Six sister summer scrunchy styles. Six sister summer scrunchy styles. I think I won that. And I also think I won today's contest. We wanted to spice up this video just a little bit by making it a contest. Whose styles do you guys like better? Vote below once you've seen our styles. We're going to be presenting three different looks from each of us. So that's six styles in this video. And we will leave the vote up to you. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm f***ing ready. I was born ready! Let's, Let's get to it. it. Shake it up. Sometimes you gotta give it a couple minutes to settle, but I think we're ready. So we're gonna go ahead and start styling our hair that has been protected overnight fabulously with our Lily Silk Bonnets. And we're gonna get started with uh, summer stylifying our hair. We're gonna stylify, which is just another term for styling. Ready? Who goes first? Me first. Okay. <laughs> so now that she's gone, let's get started, shall we? I'm gonna go first, showing off one of my all-time favorite styles that I get a lot of compliments on on my Instagram. And to make this style even more cute, my accessory of choice is going to be one of my Lily Silk scrunchies. Because not only will it make the style extra cute, but it will also keep my hair nice and protected and prevent breakage as my hair gets really dry in the summer. The mulberry silk will just glide over my hair. So my dilemma right now is which color am I going to choose? Which color? Why? Meta, which one? I like that one. Okay. We'll go with blue. And I'm just going to keep the scrunchie on my wrist. And first, I'm going to show you what to grab. So because I have a crap ton of layers all throughout my sides, I don't want to grab a lot of my hair because it already gives me a lot of balance. So basically, I take just the front section of my head and on the other side, and I take the top horseshoe, gather the hairs. So if you see, I actually still have a lot of hair on my sides here which helps to fill out the style. I'm not grabbing too much hair and putting it in the hair tie. Boom. So the style is very simple. I think what you guys really like most about it when I do this style is the fact that I have all this layering on the sides that you may not have depending on how long your hair is or how it was cut. So you can create this layered effect by just picking up the top section of your hair, take some bobby pins and pin it into place. So if you guys can see the difference, this was without the pinning, and this is with the pinning. And that's how I like to create my half up pineapple with a scrunchie. Super cute, can't be beat. What you think about that one, Amanda, huh? Suck on day! What you got for me? Step aside. What you got, what you got? Step aside, step aside, step, step aside. That's rude! Alright guys, so now I'm going to show you how I achieved this look, which you guys really loved in a video that we did where I was styling Mel's hair. Um, so I thought I'd share that with you guys because I got a lot of questions about that style. So I'm going to be taking another Lily Silk scrunchie. I'll do pink because I'm a pink girl. Alright, so this style is really, really simple, but it's also much better than Mel's. Uh -huh. All I do to achieve this style is I like to leave my bangs out because I think if you have bangs, it's really nice to frame your face. Amanda, I'd like to argue for a moment. What? Your bangs have kind of grown out. They're not quite bangs. They're more like short face framing layers. But anyway. I like to keep my short framing layers or... What? Face, they're face framing layers. I like to keep my face framing layers or bangs, whatever you want to call them. I like to keep them out. So I'll usually just keep up until just before my ear, so not behind my ear, but before my ear, because I don't want too many pieces in my face, especially in the summer, because I get really hot. 
So I'll leave these pieces out and the rest I'm going to take and pin back. So at this point I'm just going to take a very thin layer of hair on both sides of my head and just tie it up with the scrunchie. I usually only tie the scrunchie about one to two times. Depending on how thick your hair is or how thin your hair is, this may vary for you. So, But I usually only need one to two twists and then I'm done. And that's it. So now the final step is I'll just kind of break apart all the clumping I have at my bang area just to make it a little bit more full and she's done. How do you like them apples? I don't even like apples. Get away from me. Shake it out. Let's bring my bangs back. And yes, this is my next weapon of choice. This one is just extra cute because it does have a bow. So I'll show you how I'm going to utilize that for my next trick style. <clears throat> so decide where you want your hair to part, whether it's middle, it's side, or it's no part. We are going to be doing another half up style because this is the perfect compromise in the summer when it's hot and you need to take some hair away, but you don't like your hair fully up. Especially when you wake up in the morning and the top part of your hair has been compromised, but underneath looks great. The simple solution to this is grabbing this top section of your hair. So I've parted it off to the side and I am going to leave some pieces out to frame my face. Oh, I still have, I, oh, oh, found a few friends. Oh, yep, yeah, thought I was missing something. So I'm going to grab, again, this front bit of my hair, pull it all the way back. I want to pull out a few extra short pieces all around my face, just for some framing. And I want this half up to sit lower on my head. So if you don't like a lot going on up here, this is going to sit in the middle back of your head. I want to create some extra volume up top, so I will pull out some of the hairs. I'm going to grab this strategically because I want the bow to sit on the lower half. Boom. It's cute, but I think mine might be it. Can Ooh. you just give me a moment? Okay. Can I show off my moment sure. before you start shit talking me? Okay. Go fish, bish. <laughs> really? Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys a really simple hack that I like to follow as well as this cute style. Are you getting heated? Like many of you guys, in the summer because my hair is so thick and it's so hot outside, the nape of my hair gets really knotted and matted and frizzy because I'm sweating. So in the morning when I don't have enough time to rewash my hair, I like to do this style. So I am going to take the same scrunchie that I used before, uh, but I'll use a different color. This time I'm going to take a green scrunchie just to change up the color a little bit. And the only difference in this half up half down is I'm going to make sure that I take an even amount of hair at the top and at the bottom. If you notice in my first style, I didn't do this, but in this style I'm going to try to keep it as equal as possible. Okay, right? Very easy, very simple, basically the same thing I just did before, but not exactly. So in order to hide that frizzy matted mess, I'm going to now take the bottom layer of my hair and tie it into a ponytail, the same as I did the top. And now when I let the top layer fall on top of the bottom, I get a very full looking ponytail effect because that's what I really look for in a ponytail. Usually if I don't do this, although my hair is long, if I put it up into a normal high ponytail, I lose a lot of that volume and that length. But by doing this, I'm still able to achieve the length and achieve that volume that everybody wants in a ponytail. And also it gives me a lot more shape. And that's it. Beat that. Beat that. You can't. I can and I will. And for my final form, shake out my hairs. Now if you want your hairs all the way up, 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 and away, but your hair is getting a little too long for a traditional pineapple. So what I'm gonna do for this pineapple is I'm going to pull all my hair first forward up to the top of my head. I'm gonna leave a little bit of a bang out, pull the hairs all the way up, and now that I've grasped the hair in one hand, I'm gonna flop it over with the other, then, then, take my elastic scrunchie, bring it over like that. And now I've got curls coming in the front, and because this scrunchie has a little bow, I strategically placed it so it would sit at the bottom and just flow nicely down the back of my head. 
I see your angle. You're just trying to you're just trying to utilize those bows to make your basic looking hairstyles look some like something. Just wait for my next one. There's no more after this. This is your final one. Are you happy with it? Sorry, I'm a little more creative with styles than you are. Oh yeah, okay. I Whose up style do you like more? Alright guys, so for my last look, it's going to be very simple again. So I'm just going to take one of these silk scrunchies with the bow. And quite simply, I'm just going to pull all my hair to the side. And at the very front, pull the scrunchie through my hair one time. And pull for that dramatic, bring out some of my bangs in the front. And I'll have just my kind of layered, my layer is kind of peeking through on the sides. And there she is. I must say, Amanda, you definitely brought your A game. Thank you. I haven't seen you be this creative with your hair since ever. All right. We'll leave that to you guys to judge. Please leave your comments and let us know which style was your favorite or which sister is your favorite. No, I'm just kidding. I know you guys love us both the same. So let's close off this video, shall we, with the one way we do how now. <laughs> with the one way we know how to. For you. Comment of the week is coming from Lisa. Thank you for all of your love. And our question of the week is from Kimberly. She actually has two questions. Um, one is, how long should you massage your scalp for? And how often should we clarify? This is in regards to last week's video. So if you guys haven't watched last week's video, make sure you watch it. After this one, of course. But, no. Well, to sum it up, for the scalp massage question, you want to do it as long as it feels good, it's at least 60 seconds. If you've got someone else doing it for you, just let them keep doing it. But there's no set time to how long you should do it. You don't have to be doing it for 10 hours, at least a minute. And as for clarifying, you need to do that as often as needed. Remember, the more that you do to your hair, the more that you swim, the more that you style, the more that you wash your hair, the more that you need to clarify your hair because everything that you're putting onto your hair is building up and you need to just let it go and start fresh. So around every three to five washes, if that answers your question. And that's all for this week's video. Stay tuned for more entertaining and educational fun with the sisters. And if you want to be featured in one of our videos, make sure to leave your comments and your questions below, as well as subscribe and turn on the notification bell. With that being said, we'll see you guys next week. Peace. Peace. Summer scrunchy styles. Six Easter summer scrunchy styles. Six Easter scrunchy summer. Six Easter scrunchy summer styles. Anyway, Fast. it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I shake my bonnet head first? <laughs> Whatever. Your hair is only cute because I do it. I'm back with a brand new style for you all. And as Amanda comes on for her final form, I will aid her in this style because she's a little. Disabled. Stay tuned for next week where you'll have more entertaining educational fun coming your way.